even everyday objects like these sunglasses are sometimes spin-off from the space race because they're built on the same principle that the sun visors are for the astronauts who go walking in space. Theirs are coated with gold, which is a metal that doesn't tarnish. It stays bright and shiny all the time. Because of that, it reflects light, and it reflects most of the light that falls on it. So what gets through to the astronaut is not enough to harm his eyes, but it's enough to see by. And that's the same principle as these. They're covered with a metallic sheen, not gold, but it's metal, and it reflects most of the light, and so what gets through to my eyes is uh, diminished, and they fa function as uh, dark glasses. But they're fairly expensive for you to buy. You can, however, make an emergency pair out of nothing more expensive than old cardboard and a discarded wine cask. That's if it's a wine cask that's got this sort of bag inside. Cut it open, pull out the bag, and if it's shiny and bright like that, you're in business. Because that's plastic which has been coated with aluminium. Well, get rid of the old wine cask. Cut this open and wash it out because there'll be old wine inside it. And if you do, you'll find that it's actually two layers. Here's one that's already been chopped up. First of all, there's this clear layer that's next to the wine. Pull that back and you find there's another layer which has got the metal on it. And that's the one you want. You want to cut two squares out of that, rather like this. Doesn't matter what size they are, but make them rather bigger than the lens you want to put in each side of the sunglasses. There's that. We'll cut it down the middle. There you are, and that's aluminum or aluminium coated plastic. Put that to one side. Now to make the frame, you'd want to use uh, thin cardboard or thick paper. And you'd start like this. Cut a hole for the nose. You'll have to match it to your own face. Cut around there for fairly big lenses, up along the side of the lenses, and out for the earpieces. The straight earpieces will probably do. Open it up and test it against your own face to make sure it's going to fit. That one's a bit big. This one, for me, is just about right. Fold it over again, put the scissors through there, and cut out the hole for the lens, like this. If you keep it folded over, each side will be symmetrical. Leave a decent bit of paper on the side, because you'll need to put glue on that and stick the lenses on. And when you're finished, you've got your frames ready to go in this sort of fashion. Well, you probably want to put it on a bit of scrap paper so glue doesn't get everywhere. And use a glue that's going to stick to that plastic sheeting. Not all glues do. Just run a thin film of it around on each side of the frame. And once you've done that, we'll just do one side here. Get the aluminium coloured or covered uh, plastic, stick it on there, and once it's dry, use the scissors to trim off all the stuff that's poking around the outside of the frame, like that. And if you do that for both sides, you'll end up with this. Don't put them on your eyes till the glue's dried, otherwise the vapours might hurt you. Once it is, you can put them on, and it'll be fairly dark, but you find, as long as you don't look at the sun, they have a very effective emergency pair of reflective sunglasses. Uh -huh.